And thirdly, you, by y'all allowing this lady to come up here and tell you straight up lies about what she's gonna do and how bad the country is and Donald Trump this and Donald Trump that. That lady spent more time bashing Donald Trump, understandably so, it's politics. She spent more time bashing Donald Trump than laying out a plan. The show you've been waiting for. If this is your first time tuning into the Miguel Lopez show, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share so we can continue bringing up free content, putting up the best content. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's been about a week since the end of the DNC down in Chicago, Illinois, and I haven't posted anything. The reason is because I was taking care of some personal issues, some personal matters that I needed my full attention but we are back we are back and i don't want to waste your time so we are going to jump right into it something that i noticed during the dnc was that there was a lot of flip-flopping a lot of the people that were talking a lot of the speakers have flip-flop on their point of view and try to portray the lies making a thing as it belong to the republican party or donald trump saying that the body is not secure because the Republican chose not to sign the bill that the Democrat Party tried to put in just recently. But what they don't emphasize or what they don't communicate to the public is that within that bill, there were a lot of other parts of the bill, for example, giving more money to Ukraine. Why in the heck we need to give our money to Ukraine, Israel, whoever? We need to take care of American and start spending all this money abroad because right now we are struggling. They try to blame the inflation on Donald Trump. They try to blame the current illegal population that's coming to the state on Donald Trump. They just try to blame everything on Donald Trump. They try to say that Donald Trump is going to take away your right to vote. And they are the one who's doing that when Biden got Pa, pa, smack and kicked out of the White House, basically. And Kamala Harris became the nominee for president, the presidential nominee for the Democrats. Did you vote for Kamala Harris? No. Did anyone vote for Kamala Harris? No. So how is the Republican Party taking away your votes when the Democrats are the one doing that? Make it make sense, America. Make it make sense. But I know you guys all think that I'm just a conservative. I sell out, how you call me, because I'm Hispanic and I'm going for the Republican Party. I'm just a conservative with common sense. And I am not blinded to the stupidities and the lies and the control that the Democratic Party has put, not just on the black community, but also the Hispanic community, the Asian community, every freaking community in America that still believes in the Democratic Party. They have been influenced in such a way that it's hard for them to open up their eyes. I was speaking to my father the other day and he is voting for Kamala Harris. I basically told him like I'm gonna disown him if he does that. And the reason I asked him, so why are you voting for her? He couldn't give me a simple reason. All he kept saying is that Donald Trump is a communist, that he is racist. And yet he could not give me an example of how he is racist or communist because all he does and a lot of Hispanic people, they listen to Univision or Telemundo. And those people are not giving true news again. They are part of the fake news in the Spanish market. Those are the biggest channel there is in the United States for the Spanish community, Univision and Telemundo. A lot of people, that's all they see. And when those channels only give news like the Democrats are the savior, Spanish people, especially older generation, they believe that nonsense and they are unable to break from the shackles of the Democratic Party. But me, I am going to keep on pushing and trying to educate my parents so they are not continue being blinded by this narrative that the Democratic Party is the salvation. My second point today is that something I noticed too during the DNC is you know how they are blaming and going against a Republican that wants to have people show voter ID, show proof of citizenship, and 
everything and close the borders. You know how the Democrats are going wild and saying that Donald Trump wants to give immunity to police officer and kind of expecting you guys to be ignorant and not really understand what he meant when he said immunity. It's not total immunity for the police officer, law enforcement to do what they please. There are stipulation, speculation within that immunity that you have to be able to understand and analyze that he doesn't mean that you could go and kill someone, you could go and do this, and you will have full immunity. There will be steps and investigation and everything. So, but that's a whole nother soldier. I hope you guys are educated enough to go and search. Going back to my second point, something I noticed was based on the Democrat going buck wilds and the Republicans are this and that. They don't want voting ID, they don't want proof of citizenship, they don't want to close the borders. They all about defund the police. But if you see the DNC, what do we see? A bunch of barricade throughout the convention. In numerous amount of police officers, people had to show their ID to come in the DNC. So you tell me, make it make sense, how you are against everything that involves America, but when it comes to your party, for people to attend your event and everything, you flip-flop and you want barricades, police presence everywhere, you want to see ID, metal detector, everything that you are against, but when it comes to the DNC, you support all of that. Make it make sense, but as I said, I'm just a conservative person with common sense, and I'm not the only one. Check out these two people. Anything I say, it doesn't compare to what they have to say. So I am gonna play their clip from Dr. Curtis and Dr. Julio. I'm not sure if they are that or themselves or that just their slogan, their nickname for TikTok, but listen to the information they are providing. Listen to the powerful message behind the words and I hope that you are able to analyze, interpret, and be able to understand what they mean. Don't just dismiss it because it's not talking positive about the Democratic Party or whatever. Listen to the message. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about the Democrat National Convention that's going on in Chicago and some of the things that I observed. Now, the first thing that I observed, and if you go on any news, uh, news uh, telecast right now, you'll see it yourself. Uh, but the p police presence, there looks to me like there are hundreds of police officers lining the parameters of the convention. Now, I just wanted to take you back just maybe even a few months ago. Remember when the Democrats were so anti-police? When, when we had people burning the small businesses in Atlanta and when they were tearing down statues in Washington, D.C. and all over the country, when they were burning down small businesses in Minnesota, Minnesota and in Wisconsin and all over. Remember, all of them were anti-police. They didn't want police. It was fine for criminal elements to burn small businesses, to burn black communities. That was fine with them. But now the people that were so opposed to police officers, if I'm not mistaken, Kamala Harris was one of them, Maxine Waters, all of the, what the people that they call the squad, the most progressive part of the Democrat party, all of them wanted to defund the police. Isn't that funny? That now all of a sudden these same police officers that they wanted to defund, now they want them there to protect them. It was not fine when we needed them, when Americans needed police officers to protect our communities, they did not care about our protection. The next thing that I want you to be aware of that I noticed is that they require ID to get into their convention. ID, can you believe that? Didn't they just say this past week or a week before that they didn't think IDs were necessary because, and they thought that anytime someone requires an ID, it was racist because black people did not have IDs. Now, so if we look at both of those situations, are we to assume that they're requiring IDs now to keep black people out? 
Because remember, IDs are racist. So if IDs are racist and they require an ID to get into the Democrat National Convention, then I am to assume that their goal of requiring IDs is to keep black people out. Now, they didn't mind uh, uh, forbidding IDs for illegal immigrants to go through our airports, for illegal immigrants to vote, and all of those things, but they do want an ID for a person to come into the Democrat National Convention. Isn't that such a conundrum? Uh, the third thing that I want you to remind you of is the fences. There are fences everywhere. And this is just me. I'm just looking at different newscasts and things and trying to formulate opinions on it. Before I get into the deep, uh, whatever, their policies, which I haven't really seen that yet either. But before I get into that, I wanted to just look at the basis, the basic things that I see. The other thing, as I said, were fences. Now, <laughs> I'm from Texas, as you probably know. And in Texas, remember, they were suing our attorney general and our state because they didn't think that we needed fences around Texas and Arizona uh, to keep out illegal immigrants and to keep out drug trafficking, child trafficking, human trafficking. They were fine with all of those things. We didn't need fences, but they need all of these things that they have always said they didn't. Now they need a police presence. Now they need IDs and now they need fences. The hypocrisy is overwhelming. Black people, how long y'all gonna let this woman play in y'all face? How long y'all going to let this woman play in y'all face? Again, I may lose followers for this, but facts is more important than fame to me. You dig what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep this a buck. For all of you that watched the DNC uh, convention, right, the Democratic National Convention last night, uh, Kamala Harris came up there, and within the first two minutes, she let y'all know who she really was. Within the first two minutes, she let you know uh, an, Indian, an Indian woman and a Jamaican man created my sister and I, and I'm so proud. I wish mama was here and da, 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 da. She just told you in real time, she is not a black American. And what did Martin Luther King Jr. say in his book? Where do we go from here? Which was published in 1967. The Martin, Martin Luther King Jr. said that we must, that, that one of the things that the Negro must do in order to truly gain his own sense of manhood is accept the fact that the American Negro is not an African. He is a true and authentic hybrid, a combination of two cultures. But Kamala Harris is not part of this culture. She is not part of black American culture. But what she is doing is the same thing that Malcolm X said that the liberal would do. The liberal will politically pander to the Negro. This is exactly what Kamala Harris did last night. That woman told, she sat in y'all's face and Cat Williams said it. This is 2024. All lies will be exposed. She sat in y'all's face and played with y'all. She gives you Megan Thee Stallion. Y'all you, you, <laughs> clap for her. She gives you Lil John. Y'all clap for her. Listen to me. I am not telling you that Kamala Harris is... The, this, the, 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 she's, I'm not saying she's the devil. I'm not saying that she's, she's anything other than what she is. She is a politician that had the more political power than Trump did for the past three years. But now we got to wait for her to get in office to make changes that she could have been making that when she's already been pulling the strings. Kamala Harris has been running the White House for at least since 2021 because look, three quick points. One, we know Joe Biden ain't been competent since about 2021. Secondly, we know that Kamala Harris knows how to play the political and the law game. We know this. And thirdly, you, by y'all allowing this lady to come up here and tell you straight up lies about what she's going to do and how bad the country is and Donald Trump this and Donald Trump that, that lady spent more time bashing Donald Trump understandably so it's politics she spent more time bashing donald trump than laying out a plan you know what she did she said she did the same thing barack obama did when people was happy to see a black man that looked better than Shirley chisholm and talk better than jesse jackson get up get up uh and, and say we have to reverse eight years of bad george bush policy we're gonna bring change to america what kind of change we're gonna bring change to america yes we can we can do what yes we can change has come to the democrats politically pander, but do nothing. Meanwhile, in California, Governor Newsom is getting ready to sign a bill that's going to allow illegal immigrants to come over to this country, get 20 per, 0 to 20% down loans on houses, and which is going to give them up to, uh, uh, which is going to give them up to $20,000 to put directly in their pocket so that they can purchase homes, so that they can get themselves on their own two feet, 
pull themselves up with the government's bootstraps. Meanwhile, telling black people essentially, oh, just fend for yourself, Negroes. Y'all will work. Y'all will figure it out. Governor, look it up. Look it up. Look up. Look up the immigration funding bill, because that's basically what it is that Governor Newsom is getting ready to sign, specifically targeted to help illegal immigrants. You know who runs California Democrats? You know who's trying to run the right house right now? A Democrat and a Republican candidate. You know between the two of them which one I would pick? I'll tell you this. Damn sure wouldn't be the damn sure wouldn't be Kamala Harris. I'll tell you that. And I stand on that with big business. I'm gonna tell you that with everything in me. I wouldn't, I'm not saying Trump is a, I'm not even saying that I like Donald Trump, but I will tell you this much. I would not, I will not be voting for Kamala Harris. Will not. You dig what I'm saying? Black people, stop letting these politicians, these political pander guys play in your face. It's disrespectful to us, it's disrespectful to Martin, and it's disrespectful to Malcolm. Malcolm X told you the one you really got to worry about is the liberal, because the liberal's going to pr- come to you as a friend, but in, but in actuality, be a legitimate foe. We couldn't say it any better. Look for someone that can speak to you in such an eloquent and magnificent way and try to make you understand in so simple terms why you have to break free from the democratic Clause from the shackles, from the slavery way mentality of the Democratic Party. If you are not able to understand, if you are not able to become free, to become yourself, to be a person with the capacity and the mental intellect to make your own decision, that is why you are still part of the Democratic plantation. And I hope that one day your eyes open, but I am going to tell you this. I hope your eyes open before this election because if that person from the Democratic Party, if Kamala Harris gets in office, you think things are bad right now, you have no idea what's to come. I can keep going without end. I can keep on speaking about this, but I hope that, as I said before, you are able to open your eyes and not in the near future, but right now because if Kamala Harris gets in office and remember she is currently in office with the administration and things are terrible so what do you think is going to happen once she becomes official open up your eyes and also remember it's been over 30 days she has yet to give you an interview she has yet to speak about her policies she has yet to speak about anything that doesn't say joy the future of America, because tell me, how can you make something that sounds make America great again? How can you put that into a negative? How can you transform that into negative idea? That's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you on the next one. If you know, you know, 